Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys everything that I've been receiving in PR this past week. And I just wanna make content that you guys wanna see, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have, and then you guys can let me know down below in the comments what you guys want me to do, like what do you guys want me to film with next here on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below, and also turn on post notifications so that you don't miss out on my next upload. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Instead of alone in your room Slept with the light on Waiting up for you Don't I don't wanna be the first package that I have sitting in front of me is from Morphe and they sent over the James Charles eyeshadow palette which I never got the chance to try it so I'm pretty excited about it because I know that there's a lot of color inside of this eyeshadow palette. Okay so I'm bringing out the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette because this one is exactly like, well I don't know if it's exactly the same but they're very very similar. So here is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette that I do have. And I think that is the reason why I didn't go out and purchase a James Charles palette because like I already have something similar. But I kind of want to play around and see, maybe let me know if the, this is just a video idea. I want to do like one eye using the same exact colors from this palette. Th this is the James Charles eyeshadow palette and then the other eye using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. So like kind of see if the formula is similar. So yeah. Here is the James Charles eyeshadow palette. These center shades are definitely a lot bigger because all of these shades in this other palette are all the same size. So I kind of do like the fact that we have this like, well at least these four shades in the bigger sizes because I, I would definitely be using those often and yeah. Do you guys have this eyeshadow palette? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, also let me know what kind of color story you guys want me to use. I'm not going to go into swatching because you guys have no idea how much makeup I have right now to share with you guys in this video. So um, yeah, here is the eyeshadow palette. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the names on the eyeshadow palette. So that kind of sucks because it just has them on here and then I tend to lose this, this little plastic thing extremely fast. And then they also sent over some new eyeshadow brushes, which I'm really excited about. I actually really, really like this for to blend out my crease area. I'll show you guys when I do use this in my next video. So yeah, that is basically what they sent over inside of this package. It just came with the eyeshadow palette and the eyeshadow brushes. Okay, so this next package came over from Pixie in this really cute bag. I've actually received something similar before, but of course it was different products and the color of the bag was different, but the style was the same. It's really cute. I really love the fact that this is like perfect for traveling. And here is everything that I received from them. It's a bunch of skincare. I'm going to show you guys one by one. I actually really do love Pixi skincare line. And I also really like their highlighters. Like those are things that I think you guys should at least try out once. You guys will definitely like it. I've never tried this exact skincare line because I think this skincare line is new. This here is the Retinol Jasmine Cleanser. And on the back here it says it's a creamy moisturizing cleanser, cleanser enriched with vitamin A which is retinol, antioxidants, and ceramides, removes impurities for smoother and more radiant looking skin. They also sent over this jasmine oil blend, and on the back here it says, this exquisite oil blend is especially effective in helping skin recover from loss of moisture and dullness. It helps calm, restore stress, and unbalance skin. Um, I'm not really a fan of oils on my skin, especially because I am just clearing up my skin from acne. So um, I'll probably throw that away in a giveaway pile. This here is an overnight ret retinol oil. And on the back it says, this exquisite oil blend helps to improve the appearance of fine lines, pores, and, skin's and skin plumpness. It helps to smooth and even out skin tone. I also received this retinol tonic. And on the back it says, this multi-action toner with time release retinol also replenishes skin with potent antioxidants. And... Yeah, that's what it says on the back. Also, I have a smoothing moisturizer, which I love Pixie's moisturizers. This is the Retinol Jasmine Lotion. On the back, it says lightweight yet deeply moisturizing. This antioxidant rich milky lotion is the perfect daily moisturizer for a more youthful appearance. It's formulated with vitamin A, jasmine oil, and peptides to renew, smooth, and deeply nourish. 
antioxidant rich blackberry, moisture locking ceramide, and nourishing biotin to help in ensure healthier looking skin long term. Okay, I like the sound of that, and like I said, I really love their moisturizer. I haven't been doing skincare videos as of recently. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my skincare really, really simple. My acne has definitely cleared up, and if, um, if it's working, I don't want to change things up. But now that I am kind of getting like clear skin, I really want to work on removing my acne scarring and just trying new products. So if you guys have any recommendation for acne scarring, please let me know down below in the comments. I would really, really love any feedback that you guys can give me and I'll look into it and hopefully I can include it into my current skincare routine. Um, this here is a retinol eye cream. This is what it looks like and it says on the back, formulated to help smooth and preserve delicate skin around the eye area. Super nourishing. This cream rejuvenates and helps minimize the look of fine lines. Okay, I'm putting this on tonight. And that completes the products that Pixie sent over. Another package that I received is skincare related once again and this one it comes from Derma E. And here we have the Derma E Skin Distress Calming CBD Cleanser. And it looks like this. The back here it says this fragrance and sulfate free broad spectrum CBD calming cleanser gently lifts away impurities. Hemp seed oil moisturizes sensitive skin while our calming complex of pycnogenol. <laughs> I'll put the name here. And aloe vera with vitamin A, C, and E nourish and condition the skin. Ultra calming phytocannabinoids. I'll put that word right here. Help relieve skin from daily stressors, reducing the appearance of redness to leave the skin feeling healthy and stress-free. This, this product here is cruelty-free, GMO-free, 100% vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and it's recyclable. This product here, I've actually been using it these past three mornings and I really like how moisturizing it is. And this here is the Derma E Skin Distress Calming CBD Moisturizer. So the back here it says it's fragrance free and formulated with phytocannabinoids <laughs> to help soothe uncomfortable skin while hemp seed oil promotes a hydrated skin barrier reducing susceptibility to irritants. Yeah, this is, it's actually a really thick moisturizer so I like how hydrating it leaves my skin feeling. And then this next product, I have not tried it. This is the Skin Distress Calming CBD Serum. I really do like serums over oils any day. And on the back it says that it doesn't say anything. This fragrance free, fast absorbing, broad spectrum CBD serum is uniquely formulated with phytocannabinoids to help soothe dry, uncomfortable skin and help reduce appearance of redness while omega-6 and omega-3 acids derived from hemp seed oil promote a healthy hydrated skin barrier function, reducing susceptibility to irritants. Our calming complex of antioxidant-rich pycnogenol and aloe vera gently delivers soothing properties to calm skin discomfort while replenishing plant extracts. Nourishing vitamin A, C, and E help to improve overall skin health for stress-free skin. Ideal for sensitive or acne-prone skin or anywhere skin is red or irritated. So that's, that's good to know. This has 500 milligrams of CBD. This has 250 milligrams of CBD. I forgot to mention that. And this here has 500 milligrams of CBD. And by the way, you can find Germa E at your local Ulta. Not that we can shop there, but you can online shop. Actually, I purchased a couple things from Ulta and it's taken quite a minute. Um, I also purchased a couple things from my mom and she's not gonna get them in time for Mother's Day. Okay, so this next package was actually the package I was most excited because there's so many things in here and I actually just got an affiliate link with them. And I think that this is a brand that nobody really talks about as much as people should because their products are really, really good. And I've shared with you guys a few times um, some of their eyeshadow palettes and I think that they're like, quality wise, they're like up there maybe even like way up there over Morphe quality wise, okay? And their packaging is just ridiculously cute. So um, 
first product I'm going to share with you guys is something that I've already used. This is the product that I definitely jumped into. And by the way, if you guys are interested in buying any of this and shopping Pinky Rose Cosmetics, you guys can use my affiliate code, which I do earn commission based off of you guys using my code, but you guys also save money, so it's a win-win. Uh, my code is Tracy. I'll have it linked down below and... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into Pinky Rose uh, makeup haul because it's like a huge box of makeup. So here is the contour palette that I could not wait to use and this is a cream contour palette which I'm starting to really get into cream contours because I wear a lot of hydrating foundations and I feel like hydrating foundations, I don't want to lose the hydration. Cream contour palettes have just been working for me. Here is what the palette looks like. I'm not sure if they have deeper colors. I don't think this would work with all skin tones, so I'm gonna look into that and I'll have, I'll mention it down below if this is like the only shade range that they have for cream contouring, cause um, yeah, I don't really think that this is gonna work for every skin tone. I'm also gonna have the pricing of a lot of these products because they're very affordable and the quality is there. This palette here is cruelty free by the way and it's also recyclable. I'll put the pricing, like I've already mentioned, down below so you guys can get an idea of how much it is. It also has like a little mirror here, not that I would be using it for cream contouring because that's something I'm going to do at home and not on the road. I just feel like cream contour is like when you're going to a special event or like dinner or something like that, you know? Not for like on the go. This next little palette is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Sunflower Palette and if you guys don't know this about me, one of my favorite flowers is a sunflower. I love sunflowers. Those are my absolute favorite. So if you want to make me happy, you guys can buy me sunflowers. So here is the actual palette. This is also cruelty free and recyclable. Give me a sunflower. Does anyone else think Post Malone is cute? No? Okay. It does have a little slip, by the way. And here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I'm really, really digging those shimmer shades. Really pretty, and I think this is a perfect palette for like summer or spring. This also has a good size mirror, as you guys can see. So again, let me know down below what kind of video you guys want to see next from me. Like, I'm going to review and share tutorials of all of these palettes. I just want to know like in what order to do them. So yeah, here is the Pinky Rose Sunflower Palette little back it up so you guys can see more of that color and unfortunately I'm not gonna swatch them for you guys in this video because like I said there's too many things to go through this next palette here is called hypnotize also cruelty free and recyclable in this palette my daughter was actually really excited when she seen it she's like mom can I try this because it's an all glitter palette these here are all just pressed glitters so you guys can just apply it on top of whatever eyeshadow you have going on that day and I thought that was like really neat. I wish this was an actual eyeshadow palette so like I, I would do this entire row of all like eyeshadows. And then this top row just keep them all glitters. That would have been really cool. Um, that way you don't have to reach into multiple eyeshadow palettes but um, it's really cute as you guys can see the packaging is really nice and this is a pretty big palette. Alright so this next one that we have here is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Luscious Plum Palette. So taking it out, once again, cruelty free, recyclable, and these palettes are good for up to 12 months. So opening this up, again, it has a slip. This is the color scheme of this. I, I really love this mauve color right here. Ooh, and this, ooh, okay, I'm already like thinking of looks that I can do with this super cute again this is like the same one as the sunflower like the same layout and a good size mirror i'm feeling like this palette is like a perfect summery nights palette okay moving on to the next one this next palette is the hypnotized pa wait didn't i already have a hypnotized palette do i have two of these no this one looks different because this one has like different color lips Oh, okay, so these glitters are different. I feel like these glitters are like more fall colors. This is what this palette looks like. These both are named the same. I wish there was like Hypnotize 1 and 2 or something. But here they are. 
this is more colorful and this is more like foresty green and gold and leprechaun <laughs> is that a word i don't know i think these are really pretty and i can't wait to play with them and see how they apply so usually pressed glitters are really tricky for me to work with because i have a trouble like i have I don't like using glitters around my eyes because then I start experiencing fallout. They did send me an applicator for these pressed glitters that I kind of misplaced the one that I had before. So I'm happy that they sent this over. This is the Pinky Rose. Well, it doesn't have a number, but it's like a silicone applicator so that um, if you try applying pressed glitters onto your eyes with an eyeshadow brush, it starts to kind of like flick off. So this kind of helps it stick on better. And I like using the NYX. Uh, glitter primer I think it's called to have it like stick onto my eye so I'm looking forward to trying that moving on to the next palette this next palette is the ice I said yes volume one palette and that's really cute because the back here it says I said yes like you know like wedding volume one <laughs> that's cute cruelty free recyclable okay and this here has a good size mirror once again kind of like no it's really cute I actually like it it has a slip as well and this here is the color scheme this is a really nice I really like the color scheme of this you can do a lot of neutral looks with the top row and then just darken up with the bottom row and if you're into neutral looks I think that you're definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this palette and then you can also like just deepen up like it's perfect <laughs> this lip color that I have on right now is kind of like, you know, like giving me a lot of vibes to use this row right here. You know, like I can do a lot of looks using that. Is it fall already? We're basically going to be in fall when we get out of quarantine, so I'm looking forward to wearing that out out of, out of my house for once. Okay, so moving on to the next palette. This one is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Pink Paradise Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, and this is what it looks like. It, they're all, they all have sleeves, so they look exactly the same as a sleeve. Pinky Rose Paradise Palette. I don't remember seeing if I... I don't remember if I opened this one, but just with the name Pink Paradise, I'm looking forward to what it looks like inside. I'm going to take out the slip and... Oh, oh wow... Okay, let me take a good look at it because a lot of these shades look the same like this one and this one look basically the same this one and this one except this one is has like a little bit of shimmer to it I don't know about this one I feel like we could have had more fun with pinks some deeper pinks some hot pinks but I know their quality so I'm really excited to give these a shot and man I wish Valentine's Day. I had this for Valentine's Day. I also just realized that these have no names on them, so that's kind of unfortunate. I really like when eyeshadow palettes do have names on them, but nevertheless, it's a really cute eyeshadow palette. And that's it for this PR... Wait, do I have more? Oh yeah, actually I have one more thing. And then the last item that I received is this little package from Cy Cyrum? S Serum? Another skincare product. It looks like it's the Flawlessly Floral Rose Lavender Eye Cream. Let me open this. I'm reading the little box on here. It says, this deeply hydrating rich eye cream delivers a burst of three key floral extracts that help to reveal lifted, hydrated, and more radiant looking eyes. Chamomile and rose flower extracts work to soothe and gently moisturize skin as lavender calms and balances to further perfect the look of skin surface. Additionally, Tripeptide 5 helps to slow visible signs of aging by helping to protect against collagen degradation and improving the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So this basically does magic. It just spilled. <laughs> okay, and then they also sent like a little tool. Oh, okay, it's a roller. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, I'm gonna go take off my makeup and use this right now. <laughs> okay guys, so that wraps it up for this video. As you guys can see, I definitely have a lot of videos coming your way. Let me know what you guys want to see next here on my channel. 
I gave you guys some ideas and also a lot of options for videos. So I would really love to hear back from you. If you're new here to my channel, I hope that I have gained you as a friend. Please subscribe down below, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on my next video, and hopefully I see you there. Bye!